Hello everyone, Cindy Olin here with Create Your Own Luck and Love. I'm so excited today to talk about how to move your online connection into an offline connection. So really quick, let me know if you're here live or if you are listening to the replay. So, um, I'm wearing my robe today that reminds me of like Hugh Hefner, but anyway, totally separate topic. Um, so, so with that, um, it's super easy. I'm just going to give you two simple steps to do this and I want to hear how it goes. Okay. So, um, number one. All you need to do, so if you're on dating apps or if you're online dating, what you want to do is reach out to people whom you find interesting. You like what they've written. Um, pictures, yes, you want to pay attention to those, but you don't want to be hypercritical of them because in my experience, I found that men don't always post the best pictures of themselves <laughs> with love. I mean that with absolute love and adoration for men. Or they they post pictures, just they, they don't always post the, the best ones for themselves. Okay, so keeping in mind what they've written, right? So, so that's one. Two, um, what you want to do, and other coaches don't necessarily say this, but especially when it comes to online dating, this is what I recommend because you want to move it from online to offline as quickly as possible. Because the point is to meet because you want to bring in the love of your life, right? So what you want to do is this, reach out, say a hello, drop the proverbial handkerchief and be like, oh, hi, you know, great blue shirt in your photo or, um, you know, I really, I really like, um, you know, I love the fact that you sail. I actually grew up sailing, you know, so look for a connection, right? and see if they respond and when they do respond you want to turn it into a meeting right away this is the only time i will suggest leading when it comes to getting to know someone getting to know a man in the modern world because it's we have so many distractions you want to get a meeting ASAP. So all you want to do, hi Helene, hi Kelly, oh, it's good to see you guys here. So um, all you want to do is this, um, the second message, you just want to say, you know what, <laughs> I find it easier to see if there's more of a connection by meeting in person. Let me know if you're up for a quick cup of coffee sometime soon. Quick easy it works yay you got a date awesome helene has a date tonight i want to hear all about it um so that's what you want to do you want to get meetings in person asap and then from there all you need to do is and i want to hear if you guys do that this um you want to reach out to, um, you know, there's several case studies, but I would say 20 people today that you find interesting online or on a dating app and do this exact same thing, okay? So you want to do that as well turn it into that meeting you want to only meet for an hour like it's great that you do this helene um you want to only meet for an hour 
the first meeting. And so, you know, meet for coffee, you know, appetizer, whatever, drink of your choice, meet, and then you want to, and I'm going to go into this more on the next live tomorrow, even more in depth, because I'm sure you're thinking, well, what if he, you know, do I suggest a place? Do I not suggest a place? And the answer is um, to let him know this. Hey, I'm in this area. If he's not, you know, right next to you and say, you know, I have this coffee shop or this coffee shop next to me. What do you think? Right? Because you actually want him to lead. And we'll go into more of that as we continue on to the Summer of Love series. Okay, so this is just really important. Get that face-to-face -face meeting and then have fun. Let go of any expectations. Just go, have a good time, get to know another human being. And then at the end of the meeting, you want to end it first. So you want to say something along the lines of, you know, I think um, I had a great time with you. And I would, you know, I hope I get to see you again. So something like that will make you, he'll, he'll actually look at you and go, okay, she's interested. She would like to see me again. And even if you, you're not feeling butterflies, do it anyway. Force yourself out of your comfort zone and just do it. Because what I found with women especially is as we get to know a man, we actually see more of their qualities, right? And we don't always know on a first meeting if this is the kind of person that would be aligned with us or not. Now, if he doesn't fit your fabulous five, which we're going to talk about more of this week, then, and you know this absolutely, then yeah, okay. So we let him go. And that's okay but the goal is is to get two three maybe four men in a dating rotation and get to know them as you're bringing in your man because it brings in abundance right and you figure it out fairly quickly you know I just had someone um, get engaged this weekend after getting divorced a year ago and um you know she actually brought the man in right away and so it's it was amazing you know she sent me the picture of the ring them kissing all of this and there were a lot of obstacles in their way for example they both have children they live on opposite sides of the country but he didn't want to live without her. And there's a reason why this happens. So I'll be sharing more about that, how to do that, how to actually stimulate that desire in a man really quickly and create the kind of relationship that you want. But it all starts with the first date, ladies. So. I hope this Facebook Live has been helpful. I'm sending you guys so much love, so much support on this journey. And you guys, let me know if you have any questions when it comes to moving from offline to online. Or online to offline. <laughs> you know what I mean. Anyway, I'm a blonde. And I just had a blonde moment. So, sending so much love. Have an amazing rest of your day. Bye.